Hey guys, I'm up here. Today we're checking out the CPE609P wireless bridge from ULNA. Inside the box you get the transmitter and receiver, some PoE power adapters, mounting hardware, some Cat5e Ethernet cables, and a user's guide. So let's plug all this stuff in and see what it can do. When we first bought this property, we had no internet. You can see there's no cable lines or anything running to the property. We had to dig in this pole, run an ethernet cable all the way to the house, set up one of these bridges, and receive our internet from that hill way over there. It was expensive and it was slow, like five megabyte speed. Our electric company decided to start doing internet and we were able to mount one of these to the back of the house and get our internet from that tower up there. That was about 8 megabyte speed. Later we were able to get Starlink which was awesome and now after 9 years they finally dug in fiber internet and we have that which is fast comparative to what we were using and fairly inexpensive. Now our problem is getting internet to the rest of the property. We've done okay with our outbuildings using a wireless mesh network, but what if I wanted to put something on the edge of the property or just give my neighbors free internet? That's where this bridge comes in handy. It can send gigabyte speed over 3.1 miles away. Now a lot of you that watch this channel are in the preparedness space. Let's say there was a total collapse, no internet, no electricity, you're running everything off of solar. Still want to know what's going on. How awesome would it be to have an LPOP or even just a pole with four security cameras on it sending information all the way from that hill over there back to your location. It's like having a three mile ethernet cable transmitting data at gigabyte speed. That's what this bridge can do. And they're pretty easy to set up. Let's check it out. After we pop this cover off, we can see that we have a 12 volt DC input. We have two LAN ports. We have a display and a function button. There's also a button right up in here that you can slide over for A or B. We're going to take our included Cat5e and connect it right there. Then we're going to plug this into the PoE port of our power adapter and plug this into our outlet right up here there's a little switch we're going to click that all the way over to the right and we can see our display here now we need to flip this over and push this button until i guess we get to a letter and i saw b so we're going to use b now take the cover off the second one, take your cable and plug it into there, switch this over to the B side and plug it in just like we did the first one. And change this to the same channel you had on the first one. Now that we have full green bars on here, we're going to take a ethernet cable plug it into the other side. You can plug it in here or you can plug it into the other port on the power adapter. Plug that into the transmitter side then take your ethernet cable and plug it into your Wi-Fi router. Now we see the transmitter is communicating with the router. Now we'll take this one and plug it into the other port here and that one's lit up too. Now we have the internet coming from one router into our transmitter and sending that signal over the air up to 3.1 miles away if there's no obstructions in line of sight to our receiver and then sending that signal to the Wi-Fi router that we have there. Now all we have to do is hook up the mounting hardware, mount the transmitter on the house, point it towards the building that we want to receive our internet mount the receiver over there and we will have internet up to 3.1 miles away. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. 
Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.